Being the victim of abuse as a child is probably one of the hardest things for adults to recover from. What's even worse is when that person is your parent. They're there to protect you and they violate you in the worst possible way. This video is going to look at how do you recover from that. So if you are an adult child victim of abuse by your parents, please do keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nurturing Coach channel. If you're new, welcome, really pleased to see you here. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do give us a click. It really does help us to get seen by more people. So I'm gonna tackle a really difficult subject, which is parental abuse. Obviously this channel is dedicated to parental narcissistic abuse and parental alienation, but I wanna look at it from the recovery aspect because I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about my own recovery and the impact that having this experience has had on my life and it really hit me the other day that I felt hate for such a long time and I don't want to feel that way anymore. I don't want that emotion in my life. It, it drags me down and all the time that I'm talking about the horrible things that these people do, it's pulling me back into that hate. So from now on, my videos are gonna be much more positive. We're gonna look at the facts, we can't escape that, but we're definitely gonna be looking at it from a much more proactive, positive point of view. How can we recover? How can we make changes? How can we not let this destroy us? Because like I said, I don't want that emotion in my life anymore and I'm sure you're sick to death of feeling all of those horrible things and actually you'd really like to move on with your life and feel more positive. So we're starting today with how to recover from parental child abuse. Like I said in the introduction, one of the hardest things, abuse at um, by anyone is horrific. It attacks our beliefs about who we are, we feel that we either deserved it or that we're not worthy and so that take, takes us into adulthood, we take that with us, we struggle to have relationships with people because we think that we're not worthy of their love so we tend to find people who prove that point really, who treat us really badly because it's what we're familiar with. But we add on to that when it's our parents our parents are supposed to give us this secure base to start out in life. They're supposed to be the ones that set us up for our adult life. They give us this idea that we're invincible, that we can do anything, that we can achieve anything, that people will love us for who we are. But when they abuse us, that strips away at all of those things and actually it makes us think that we are rotten, that we are dirty, that we are in some way to blame for the horrendous things that have happened. And like I said, we take that into our adult lives and we struggle. Struggle with, struggle with even the basics of holding down a job, struggle with getting out of bed, long-term mental health problems, substance abuse. These are all really common things for children who grow up and ever experienced abuse in their childhood. But that isn't the case for everyone. Not every child that is abused will grow up to have these awful, this awful adult life. So many actually turn their lives around and that's what I wanna focus on. I wanna focus on that. I wanna focus on how you, no matter what age you are, you can turn things around. You don't have to be that person anymore. That is not, who you are at your core. You are so much better than that. You are worth so much more than that. So how do you recover? Well, the first thing is be kind to yourself. 
what would you say to your inner child? What would you, if you could go back in time and say something to you when you were growing up and you were experiencing this horrendous abuse, what do you wish you could say? I love you. You don't deserve this. You're better than this. This isn't your fault. You did nothing wrong. Those sorts of things. What would you say? And really be kind. Say that to yourself now. Say it to you right here, right now. All of those things. You don't deserve that. You never deserve that. You are worthy of love. You should have been protected. You should have been shown love and security. Start doing that for yourself. Start giving yourself that compassion, that guidance that you were never given as a child. Really work on liking yourself. There's never, it, you're never too old to work on that. A lot of people I know say, oh, I'm too old, I'm set in stone, this is who I am. Actually, that's not true. We're all capable of change. Very basic biology will tell you, your cells change really quickly actually and majority of our bodies are less than 20 days old because we regenerate so quickly so that's a terrible excuse we're changing all the time your basic biology changes so you can change it just comes down to what's in here and we can do that you can work on that you can make that better you can believe in yourself it just takes the time to really explore and to change your mindset. Who do you want to be? Who would you love more than anything to be? What kind of person would you want to be um, described as? What qualities do you want to have? What way do you want to be viewed by other people? Write them down. Write down a list of at least five things that you would really like people to think of you. So when they say, oh, you know that Sarah, she's this, that and the other. What would you like to be described as? And write them down and then every day look at them. Every day when you wake up, look at that list and think, how can I be these things? And do that on a daily basis, focus on being the things that you want to be, that you know you can be. And you can become anyone you want to be. Do not be shackled by the abuse of your childhood. That is, basically that's prolonging the abuse and the abuser wins. And I'm all about turning the tables on that. I don't, they don't deserve to win, they're not going to win. You can change, you can become the person that you are destined to be. Our childhood has massive implications. It creates our views, our blueprints of what we think the world is. But blueprints can be rewritten. Blueprints can be erased and, and changed. And that's what you can do for yourself. You can change that. You can change your perception of yourself. And I want you to start doing that today. So I want you to go away and think of how you want to be described. What core qualities do you want to have? And then I want you to start doing that every day. Every day, I want you to start doing those things. If you want to be known as being caring, every day I want you to show a caring side, do something that's a caring action. If you say that you want to be um, thought of as being um, loyal, do something loyal that shows your loyalty. Just do it every day, do something. And before you know it, that's exactly who you will be. Shake off those labels, shake off that past, that's not who you are, become a new person today. I really hope you found that uplifting, like I said, I want to let go of the hate, I want to let go of it, I don't want to feel it anymore, I don't want to be dra dragged down by it, I want to feel positive and uplifted and I want to focus on all the amazing things that we can achieve in this world and that's how these videos are going to go from here on in. Some of you may not like that, that's fine, it's entirely your choice. I have to deliver what's in my heart. So for those of you that are on board, let's do this. Let's break away from that abuse. Let's not let it define us. Let's be someone that we want to be, someone that we're proud of. So like I said, if you haven't had a chance, please do click the subscribe button. Do like, comment and share. Let me know. What do you think? What do you think? Do you like this new approach? Or do you want to go back to the before? I'm not going to, but 
let me know what you think and take care of yourself and i'd love to hear your stories i'd love to know your five things and who you want to be so take care everyone bye bye